Hello everyone, welcome to the first episode of Amazing Geek Stuff. My name is Drew, and today I have an Intel NUC. Um, it is a uh, 5i7RYH uh, small computer. It's about the size of a uh, an Apple TV. This particular machine has, uh, it's a dual core i7 uh, processor. It has uh, Intel Iris Graphics 6100. I wouldn't try to play games on it. Uh, the machine takes a maximum of 16 gigs of RAM, and I have here uh, two chips of 8 gigs DDR3, and it was specified for this machine. And as well, I have a uh, Samsung NAND SSD 850. And what I'm going to do is uh, let's start with the machine itself, the computer. Two uh, USB ports on the back, uh, a mini HDMI connector, uh, something that you'll need to know before you order. Uh, it has uh, Wi-Fi, but you can also plug in the Ethernet. Uh, there is a display port connector. It, instead of using HDMI, you can use display port. And you've got two connect, uh, USB uh, connectors on the front. One's the standard USB 3, and the one that is yellow is uh, charging capable. So it'll put out two amps if you want to charge any devices. Plug your phone into that one. Um, it's four inches by four inches square um, and about two inches in height. Roughly, it's just a little bit less than two inches tall. And what we need to do uh, to get it up and running, set it upside down, I need to get a uh, Phillips screwdriver. We're going to have to remove the four screws here. Okay, so I'm going to quickly remove <coughs> these and I don't think that they come out. They'll hang on the lid. So, real simple. And then I'm going to use one of the legs to uh, just pull it out. It's got a uh, an area where you can put in a standard uh, laptop, a 2.5 inch. Uh, it's a solid state of regular hard drive in here. We well, have very simple, very small uh, motherboard. We're going to plug in the hard drive, the SSD down here, and two sticks of RAM up here. Now here comes the hard part, and that's getting the RAM out of the plastic sleeve. I'm just going to cut it. Okay. And you have to manhandle it to some degree, and it'll pop right out. Um, you don't have to really baby this stuff. So if you think you're going to break it, you're probably not. Okay, so um, make sure that the, the notch is further to the right from your perspective. And then when you put it in, wiggle it down as far as you can. And then click. It should snap right in. Uh, do the same with the, the next stick. Wiggle it in, and it should just snap down. And the hard drive is the same way. The, the label always faces up. You stick it right in here, just like that. And it, it goes right in. And that's why we need to, uh, actually I'm going to have to take the screw out. Screw is down here. There we go. And that has a magnetic tip. And that's a good point. If you have a screwdriver with a magnetic tip, it'll be a whole lot easier. So now I'm going to take my hard drive again and slip it right in. Sticker side up. And it just sits right down, straight down. And I will screw that back in. So what we've done here. I've installed two sticks of Crucial RAM. They're eight gigabytes each, so a total of 16 gigs of RAM. That's the maximum this machine will hold. And a 256 gig uh, M.2 NAND SSD drive. I'm gonna close it up. Just kinda have to finesse it a little bit just to get it to go down. And then when you start threading, and I'll go diagonally Get it started. What we're going to do next is install Ubuntu or Ubuntu, either way you say it, uh, 16.04 um, from a flash drive on the uh, on the front port here. Your power adapter is going to come, and you can't uh, you won't be able to directly plug it in. I can plug in the two prongs for the uh, for the AC outlet, snaps right in, and now of course. This plugs into the back of the, the unit. So the only thing we need now is to take it in the other room and to the office. Uh, we're gonna connect uh, an HDMI, mini HDMI cable. Uh, my father's monitor 
has a, a DVI connector, so we bought one of those, and that, that'll work just fine. And then plug in uh, the USB drive and install Ubuntu. Turn it on. Yes, Intel Nook, yay. Um, I'm going to scroll down to install Ubuntu. Okay, so good. I uh, already have support for the uh, Logitech uh, wireless keyboard and mouse, so that's giving me no problem. Uh, I do speak English, continue. So raise disk and install this may seem like overkill, but it's the simplest thing to do, being that the hard drive is new. I'm going to continue. My time zone is New York. Continue. Uh, English US for both of those for me. Uh, may as well try out the keyboard. Everything's fine. Installation is complete. You need to restart the computer in order to use the new installation. So I'll click restart now. Tell Nuck, booting into Ubuntu. And there you go. Uh, we're being asked to log in. So I'll enter the password. And we have Ubuntu 16.04, and this is a desktop. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please click the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe.